What's going on guys, SF Gaming here, and today I'm going to do a UEFN tutorial. Uh, this will be how to make a rift using collection parameters and obviously materials. So, obviously, first of all, we need to get an image. First of all, we need to load into a map. If you're not already in a map, I don't know what to tell you. So, let's just <laughs> load into the map and then... I'm going to drag in a PNG I found from online. The best way to have a rift image is to have an image of broke, breaking or broken glass. Because it looks shattered. Um, <clears throat> sorry. But as you'll know, or as you see here, something's not really right. Because when I enter it, it looks like this. When I, uh, when I enter the... Uh, into the image it looks like a glass but when I look here it it's like weird cubes and stuff like that I uh, so I gotta sorry I have to look at some stuff but so in order to fix this because this needs to be fixed before we can do anything we can go into compression compression settings and then you can kind of mess around with this, but from what I know, uh, I think it's grayscale. No, it's not. It is definitely not grayscale. Okay, it's displacement map. It's a displacement map setting that works the best. It might not work all the time, so you're going to have to look through. But now, when I go back, it's at the image. It works. So that's... Perfect. We have we have a working glass image, um, but what we need to do now is create a material or not a material. We need to create a parameter collection or a collection parameter. In order to do this, we need to go into material, go all the way down to material parameter collection. I'm just going to name this Rift. Um, collection I was going to abbreviate collection parameter but I'm not going to do that once I realize what it means um, and then we just enter it and it's pretty simple we just got to add an element into s scalar params or however you say it and rename it I'm going to do rift grow slash shrink I'm not going to worry about spelling right now. Uh, and then that's that's all you need to do with the parameter collection. Is it collection parameter or parameter collection? It's parameter collection. Okay. But now we get to make the material, which this is pretty simple. It's usually just in this area. Uh, I'm going to name it Rift because it's going to be the rift. And then we got to enter it. So now before we do anything, we got to change this. I got to remember what I changed it to though. So I think no. There we go. Okay. So it's surface and then masked for blend mode. And now the first thing we want to do is get the emissive color. So we want a three point parameter like this. If you want to if you want to collect one using a shortcut, hold down three and then click and you'll get yourself a three point parameter. Uh, drag this. Don't drag it to anything yet, actually. My bad. We'll set I'm setting the color to cyan. Just that's how that's what I think is the best color for a rift. We want to add a multiply key, which if you want a shortcut, press M and then click and there's a multiply key. Connect the uh, this to the multiply and then the multiply to the emissive. And it's not that it's not that bright. Yeah. But to change this, we need a uh, 
just a normal parameter. And in order to do this, we hold S. Yeah. Oh, we hold S and then click, and then you get a parameter. Intensity. This will be the intensity of the glow. And we set that to one. That doesn't look right. Hold up. I think I did the wrong thing. I feel like I've done... Maybe I did it already, I guess. We'll see. We might have to come back to this. I think I messed something up, but... It actually not looks right. So for now, just if this works, keep it. That's all we need. We don't need to really worry about it all that much. But now we got to fix it from being just a ball. So, excuse me. We get a, a multiply key, drag it to opacity mask, and then go into content, the content drawer, and drag and drop your PNG. And connect to multiplier. Now nothing will show up right now because we have not set up the rest of what we need to set up. So from the multiplier, we now need to I think we can we need to add a power. We're gonna get an error, that's normal. From and then we from here we're gonna want a uh, yeah, sorry, sorry, uh, crap. We're going to want a minus, or a one minus node and plug it into base. This is important, you have to plug it into base. And then we need a lerp node, which I think, yeah, th so... Lerp is linear. That I don't know if that's one word or two words, but it's this. It's this node. I call it Lerp, and so does the game. Lerp is a fun node name. <laughs> and then we need another minus one to be connected to B. A saturate. No, that's no. Wait, hold up. That I don't know how to... Some of the stuff I won't know how to pronounce. I'm sorry. But I think that's... Yeah, this is a saturate node. Uh, and then from there, we need a dot node or dot product connected to saturate. Then we need a few vertex things. So vertex normal connected to A. And then camera vertex... And connect that to B. Now nothing's still nothing's gonna show up yet. Uh another thing I want to know is if someone could figure out what I could do to replace this node to make it so the whole system th right now how this is being set up, uh the way the rift will open or close, it depends on where you're looking at it. If someone could make it so it doesn't depend on the camera, please tell me. <laughs> it's just please tell me. But continuing on with the what we need to add, from we, we'll go back to the power, and from there we need a ABS node connected to the EXP. We need to do a divine node, which you can hold down D and click to get. If you want to shortcut it. Um, oh, stuff is already starting to show up. That's amazing. I'm just going to... That's... I'm going to copy the saturate node because we need that again. And a... Seal node, I guess that's what it's called. And then we connect that to the alpha of the lerp. Okay, and now we go back to the divide, get an add, 
which you can hold down A and click to get it quickly. A cosine, connect it. And then a, I can't remember, and then a collection parameter. And we have to set the collection parameter to rift and connect it to the cosine. Oh, and then the parameter name to rift grow shrink. So this is the texture setup. Ah, this is not right though. Right here. Yeah, because this is the okay. So all this is set up. I just need to uh figure out what I'm what's going wrong. Maybe convert to parameter. There we go. Okay. It's still not bright though. That's the thing. This is set up right. Oh, you know what? It's because I forgot to set the value of... Maybe it's because I forgot to set the value of divide. So, let's see. With divide, the lower the number is, the smaller the rift can be when the parameter collection hits a certain value. So what I did was I went with 0 0.005. So you can see it just barely shows up right there. And then... There we go. So now that the whole thing's set up, we apply. I'm going to save just real quick. And then we go back into our project. And we now need to paste the rift onto something, so like a, a plane, per se. And then, oh, I need to slow the camera down. We drag and drop. Nothing's gonna, probably nothing's gonna show up, cause it's too small. But if we go into the parameter collection and Yep, there it is. So it's not bright at all, which is weird. So the highest value, I think it can, not five, the highest value you can have before it shrinks back down is 0.5, and that's just unmasking the entire rift. Uh, why isn't this bright? Hold up. What happens if I just skip all of that? Sorry. Um, this worked in my other map. So this is... Why isn't it working here, though? Weird. Maybe... Like... Seriously, though, why isn't the emissive color working? Okay, that's weird. I mean, I don't know what's going on with that, but... Oh, well, it's first first UEFM tutorial. So, moving on from whatever was going on with that... Now, if I change the value, it shrinks or grows depending on what value is set. And also, again, warning, it's right now based off of where you're posi positioning your camera. If someone can tell me how to fix this, please, please do, because I don't like it being like this. But I don't know what to do. So, because I know some of you will want to animate this, 
I will now show you how to get a parameter into a cinematic. So obviously we need a level sequencer. So go into cinematic, level sequence, rift, go, rift go big. <laughs> we open it and then I'm pretty sure you just drag the parameter collection in. Okay, well, second try, drag it in, yep. And then add a parameter to rift grow and shrink. It just set a value. But now if we go, like say to the end of it, uh, and then add a key, and I set it to 0.5, not five, I do that all the time, point 0.5. It should now, as you see, it animates, which that looks cool in itself. Uh, I don't know why it's not glowing. Again, I don't know why it's not glowing. So we we'll just have to figure out. You might have to tweak with it a little bit. But for the main part, this works. I... Again, I don't know what's going on. I took a screenshot of the working version and this is copied this is copied down like to a T. So I don't know what's going on with that. Unless hold up, I bet I can just yoink the color from here. Wait a minute. No, okay, no, it's not glowing. But so that that's how to make a rift. I wish it would glow. Don't know why it's not. Uh so yeah. Hopefully this helps you with whatever you want. Of course, some of the values like the divide can be changed to your liking. You don't need to use the same exact glass piece or not piece um picture. But for the most part, you do need to follow what I have done. Because if you don't, it won't work. Hopefully, so like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Uh, again, if you can tell me what I can do to replace this without it freezing uh, the whole system we have here, please tell me in the comment below, comments below so I can fix it. I might even do a little update video to show you how. So yeah, see you guys in the next video.